good morning everyone i hope you're having a beautiful day today is day two of uh getting the great dane saint bernard mix jaeger he's doing great such a cuddle bug like really such a cuddle bug he slept not only on the bed but he really slept right on top of me it made some of the dogs that usually sleep on my chest pretty jealous isn't that right bane bane my uh my Neapolitan massive, he he likes to sleep right on me as well. And all the French, a lot of the dogs do. Like when I wake up in the morning, it's uh, <laughs> I, I'm laughing because it's just so ridiculous. But really, when I wake up in the morning, there's like a head on this chest, a head on my right chest, a couple heads on my stomach. I'm just, <laughs> it's it's not easy to get out of bed. But um, anyways, enough about me. Jaeger is doing awesome. Uh, really, really beautiful dog. I can definitely sense the uh, separation anxiety in him. Now, I must say, I've had, since, since starting an animal sanctuary, um, Roger, Roger was my first Great Dane. But since then, I think I've rescued five of them in total. And I will say, from all the Great Danes that I've met and the Great Danes that I've fostered and also have kept, that seems to be the the common thread. They they have a lot of separation anxiety. Um, they really have their person, you know. They they really love the people who live in their house and will protect. Excuse me, very much protect the people in their house, not necessarily by getting aggressive, but without a doubt vocally. And they have a beautiful, deep, deep bark. Like if I had a bark. It would be similar to a great. <laughs> it would be similar to a great date, but um, yeah, they're uh, they're just a, a very interesting breed, you know. Very very big dog, kind of goofy. They don't know their own size. They don't know how big they are. Um, he does. <laughs> he he has a sense of how big he is. Uh, which is nice. He's never, t he, I mean, never. I've only had him. I haven't really met the real him yet. You know, I've only, I, I haven't even had him for 12 hours yet. So the current time is 7 a.m. And I met him around 4.30, 5 o'clock p.m. The day before yesterday. So not the day before yesterday, yesterday. So um, I haven't even had him for 12 hours. So of course I'm still getting to know him, but I'm really happy with what I've seen already. And for a dog with such separation anxiety, something that I really appreciate about dogs that I just bring in is usually they'll be right by my side until they feel a little bit more confident in the pack. You'll see them just right next to me like glue. And people will sometimes think, oh, that's so cute, they love you. And it's not that they don't love me, but they're not next to me because they love me. They're next to me because they know that I definitely won't hurt them and hopefully I'll protect them and all those things. But he, um, he's a very confident dog. For a dog with such separation anxiety, he's a very confident dog. He just has to be able to see me. So when I go into the house, I could tell he's, he really just has to be able to see me. But I love how he's just kind of doing his own thing. Jaeger, come on, bud. Definitely want to work on the recall. But at, at, at the same time, this is all very new for him and he's very interested in everything going on. Jaeger, good boy, come here. Come on, Jaeger. So, you, you don't wanna really try more than that. Did you see how I got his attention? I'll give it one more. I'll try one more time. Jaeger, hey, come here. That's a good boy. That's a great job. That's a good boy. That's a good boy, thank you. See, this, this great thing here is getting very uh, jealous. Good boy. And um, I'm no dog trainer, I will say that. I've said it a thousand or something, maybe a million times, I'm no dog trainer, but when it comes to recall, you don't want to uh, make your voice a waste. Don't let your voice be a waste. If you're calling a dog and they're not coming back, don't just keep trying until you think they listen to you. They, they, they've just eventually, eventually have gotten bored or will cave like, all right, I'll give you what you want. You really wanna make sure um, if you're gonna 
work on your recall. Come here, right? You want to get them to look at you. If they look at you and then just not come to you, ignore you, that's when you really have to uh, either ignore them, just uh, ignore, uh, whatever, guys, don't listen to me. I don't want to get myself in a, I'll finish what I'm saying, though. You either walk away from it or go get the dog, all right? You either walk away or go get them. So when they look at you and then they still disregard your voice, it's no good. They do it to me all the time, by the way. It's not like all my dogs have great recall. They do it to me, too. But this is great. See how he's following me? And a dog like this, you know, people really need to understand something. A dog, he's he's probably 130, 140 pounds. He is a tank. I'm not exaggerating. When he would lay on when he was laying on me last night, like I had shortness of breath. He he is really a tank. But what people really need to understand is, you know, a, a 140 pound dog with separation anxiety is going to be a lot different than a dog like Junebug here with separation anxiety. Oh, let me get you up here. It's going to be a lot different than a dog like Junebug with separation anxiety. I mean, they, I, I've had it before. You know, they can really, they can and they will do a lot of damage to the house. I mean, they're just strong, strong animals with sharp, sharp teeth. So that's something that you really need to figure out. Um, if you're going to bring in a type of breed with separation anxiety, you, you have to be prepared for it um, mentally and have your house, make sure your, your home is safe. There's not many counters or things that a dog his size can't get up on, can't destroy. And uh, sometimes, you know, no matter the medication, I mean, I've, I, can't, I can't say this from experience, but I know like with a dog like him, using him exactly, um, from what I was told, you know, the, he had the training, he had some of the best training done. He had this done and, and all the courses. Sometimes you could try everything. And unfortunately, the only option is to be with that dog at all times. Um, I've, I've never been in that situation. I've always been lucky to usually be able to um, not necessarily train the dog out of it. But a lot of the times it's just enrichment. It's the dog getting enough exercise enough of the pack work you know running around like we're doing now with the pack training definitely helps but enrichment fulfillment just like what humans need right going outside walking exercising mental and physical stimulation math science algebra you want to get you want to get them into spelling bees real early you don't want a stupid dog you don't want a dog that can't spell dog all right at the end of the day you don't want a dog that can't spell dog. If you take anything away from this video, that better be it. That better be it, kids. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you again to uh, the St. Bernard Dog Rescue out of Idaho. Really a pl great, great rescue. Uh, they, they truly are. And they got great people, people who care. Um, and obviously that's the most important thing. They, they really care about their animals and they're really incredible people. It's been a pleasure to continue our relationship over the years and to finally work together again um i'm really glad we were able to help but yeah he's really he's a good boy he's a good boy i don't know too much about him yet like i said it's only been about 10 hours but he uh he slept like a baby like really just on my on my chest all night but the separation anxiety is there you know once he couldn't see me he would get a little destructive and get the shakes and the howling and stuff like that so we definitely have some work to do and i'll be able to get a good assessment to truly understand him in the next three to four years because <laughs> i'm keeping it no i'm just kidding um no i'd say the next three to four weeks we'll be able to really figure out where he's at and uh, find him the best home possible but we're definitely not there yet all right i love you guys thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day mm -hmm.